Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here from Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of the Champion Tip of the Week. I wanted to talk today about stories. You know, throughout history, stories have been used to inspire, motivate, uh, pass on traditions from, from, uh, from older people to, their, to the young, and, and they've been an integral part of our societies. But I'm not talking about that kind of story today. I want to talk about the types of stories that keep us stuck. The, the stories that we, we place on our situations that we continue to run on and on and on in our minds and, and, and how we communicate, where we get stuck and we're not able to break through. Uh, this last weekend, I had the opportunity to work with two separate groups here in the Denver area um, and share with them some of my leadership messages. And we talked about this idea of being stuck in your story. And uh, we did a little exercise that I wanted to share with you that I think really brought this forward and gave some people some great awarenesses. What I did is I paired some people up, or I paired everyone in the, in the groups up, and I, I had them sit across from someone and share with their partner what was a challenging uh, aspect that was happening in their life. Could be a trouble that they're dealing with at work or at home, in relationship, whatever. And the only caveat to that is I said when they explained what was going on, when they were talking about their challenge, they needed to do it in such a way that if they were being filmed that they would win the Academy Award. So they were to be as boisterous as possible, to be as animated as possible, and to just really get into it where, uh, you know, once again, that they were just going over the top in terms of expressing their pain and discomfort and whatever they were going through. And it was really kind of an interesting thing because as soon as people got into it, you know, people were standing up and their arms were flailing and, and it was really actually kind of a lot of fun. So we stopped uh, after they were able to do that venting, if you will, but then I had them answer four questions with their partner. And the first one was, what was really happening in that situation? Now, what do I mean by that? What was really happening was the events that occurred. So for instance, let's say uh, your boss came to you at five o'clock on a Friday and said, I need this report first thing on Monday morning. And immediately in your mind, you're upset that you have to work this weekend, how irresponsible and what a jerk your boss is for making you do this. And you put all the story around it where what really happened in that situation is your boss came in at five o'clock on a Friday and asked you to have a report done on Monday morning. So it was interesting when I was watching the dynamics of the group, how difficult it was for people to get out of their story when they were explaining something about a challenge. And then the following three questions helped them get uh, on top of the situation so they could do what I call forward focused thinking. They could focus on how to move through the obstacle to get to the other side. And the first thing that they answered is what's good about the situation? I mean, quite honestly, anytime we have a challenge in life, you'll notice that if you uh, drill down deep enough, you're going to find some positive you can get out of it, whether it's a learning experience, whether it's a way for you to grow and expand, but there's something positive. The second question that I asked them to answer was, what's the solution to this difficulty? And then finally, and probably most importantly, what can they do to make that happen? And what we found as a group is that when we got out of the story and we cleared that away, it really opened up our creativity. It opened up that part of ourself that we can access so that we can find basically the answer to any one of our problems. Now, I, I want to give a little disclaimer here. It doesn't mean that when things happen in our lives that upset us, that we kind of bypass that emotion or, or we, we just neglect to, to go into the anger or whatever, because if we don't, it has a tendency to get repressed inside of us and then it pops up in a way that really doesn't serve us. It's okay to vent. It's just not okay to stay there. And there are people that stay there much, much too long, and I've done it myself, where pretty soon your entire way of being, your entire way of communicating with others is clouded through that story that you're putting on a situation. So I guess my, my question for you and my challenge for you this week is, what stories, negative stories, stories that aren't serving you, are you telling yourself? And in what way are you continuing to communicate that in the people that you interact with? And where's the opportunity to get out of the story Look at what's really happening so you can have the experience that you really want to have. So there you have it. So once again, this is Chris Natsky uh, from Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. I hope you enjoyed this Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great week.